This is a view across the Cotter Reservoir looking towards where habitat is being constructed for the nationally endangered species, the Macquarie Perch. Hello, it's Richard Snashel here with a, an update from the Enlarged Cotter Dam site for July 2011 as we pull back there from the, uh, the Macquarie Perch's new home. That rock has been really carefully placed to ensure that the, um, the fish have plenty of places to hide from the cormorants, their main nemesis. So this is looking down to where the crusher shed was once located and one of the saddle dams. The crusher shed has now been decommissioned and dismantled and it's uh, just a few bits and pieces there which are being uh, relocated no doubt to other sites. It's all very quiet in this area that was once very very busy and of course the crusher, sh crusher shed was crushing material that uh, is in these stockpiles. There's a little bit more fish rock habitat which is on this side of the reservoir down near where the quarry was once located and of course the quarry has uh, finished its job. Now, it might be quiet around there, but it's busy around here. This is the concrete batch plant. And it's all go here, as concrete is being produced and taken down to the Cotter Valley floor. This particular shed building is uh, a house for the uh, sand. It's actually a manufactured sand, which is one of the components of the concrete that's being produced in the batch plant. This is ground control for the batch plant. It's where the guys make up the concrete. And of course they can put together different uh, components, different elements there, depending on the use, uh, different uses for the concrete. A batch of concrete is just about to come off the conveyor here. And you can see there that a little bit is being pulled back by this chap here. And I'll explain in a minute exactly what that's for. Anyway, I'll hand over now to Peter Belling, who is the man from the batch plant, and uh, he can give you his 30 seconds on what's happening here now. Just here at the batch plant at the moment, we're batching concrete to um, take down and fill up the faults that we're finding in the valley floor. So we're batching concrete out of the plant, and then we're loading it into an agitator, where we're wetting it up to get it to a, um, a nice wet slump so that the boys down there can vibrate it into the faults that are in the floor. And we'll bring that uh, concrete up to the base level of the bottom of the dam so then we can start doing the RCC proper at the bottom of the dam. So hopefully that'll take us another end of this week, into next week, and we should be getting close to being to that level so we can start setting up form work and getting ready for the dam proper. Thanks there to Peter Belling reporting in from the batch plant. We go back to ground control. I'll just give you a brief explanation on what these blokes are doing here. They take a sample of each batch of concrete um, that comes out of the batch plant and they test it for its um, physical characteristics and its workability. Uh, this particular concrete's a little bit wetter that's being used to fill the, the fault down in the valley floor, uh, a little bit wetter than the concrete that will be used on the enlarged cotter dam wall. So they're just giving it a test to make sure it's appropriate for this application. This is environmental flow coming out of the cotter reservoir. There's been quite a bit of rain actually in the last week or so, uh, which is sort of very early July. I think about 80 mils up in the catchment and uh, some of that water is being released into the Cotter River as part of the uh, environmental flow. We look now between the abutment walls, that is the left abutment wall there on the right hand side and we pan across to the right abutment wall. And this is really where all the activity is taking place. There is the intake tower the water into intake tower, which is being pushed upwards by this uh, unique jump form system which raises up the tower. You see the myriad of conveyors there which will bring the concrete down to build the enlarged cotter dam wall. Now this is the fault that Peter Belling was talking about a moment ago, which was identified a month or two back uh, as part of the geological assessment. And it's now being filled with this concrete being produced at the batch plant. The trucks are bringing this material down and the guys are working away to fill up this hole and bring it up actually to where those red marks are. And that's actually where the beginning of the enlarged cotter dam wall um, will be. So there's quite a lot of concrete they have to put into this, this particular fault. So uh, many um, agitator trucks are coming down 
and delivering to site. Of course it's highly beneficial that the concrete is produced on site. You can see the intake tower there and looking down to where some of the areas are formed up and concrete has been poured and smoothed out. Now we'll finish there with a shot of the intake tower looking down from the right hand abutment wall and we look forward to another update very soon. Thanks for watching.